Hi, what's up YouTube? It's Dom here from Payday Pickups and I'm back with another video. Today I'm going to be presenting you the top 10 brands you should know about in 2018. These are upcoming low-key brands. These are in no particular order, but anyways, let's get into it. So coming in at number one, it is a brand called Unknown London. You may have heard of them or seen them on my Instagram. They've been featured on my channel before. I basically bought this all-white tracksuit from the ESPN International Collection right here. And basically this brand, they're low key, they're from London, they're an independent brand, they're just two lads set it up and they've grown massively, they've been in loads of things like Hype Beast, Heist Nabiety, loads of things, their collections keep getting better and better. One of their collections kind of gotten bigger, it was their Burberry tracksuits, I've shown these in a previous video, basically they made matching tracksuits in black, green and a navy colourway and what they had was like the Burberry print stripped down the tape on the sleeves as well as on the bottoms, something that was very on trend at the time and from that they just keep progressing, they made their ESPN collection which is where I got my all white tracksuit from and I'll show you some b-roll now. <laughs> They gained more popularity and then one of the craziest collabs ever, they got a collab with ASAP Mob, specifically ASAP Ty. This stuff was actually really nice but got their name plummeted out there. They even have their own pop-up shop with him and I'll show you some b-roll right now. that they kind of got like the polo sport bags, the vintage bags they made, the unknown kind of shoulder bags where they had the unknown print on the strap, kind of like the supreme ones right now and they also made their puffer coats with the unknown bit at the back and now from that they're at their newest collection right now which is actually crazy, it's very high end, they're going international against like Tokyo, Paris, they're at loads of fashion weeks, I'm unsure on the name of the actual collection but it's like techwear pieces, they've got the techwear vest and they've also got the new cargo pants and sweatshirts which have the clip on strips on the sleeves as well as on the bottoms, I think it's actually looks really sick, kind of fits on the whole techwear especially because that brand Alix is going massive with like their tech bags as well really fits in with the trend the price point's higher but the quality looks even better and they're just going to keep growing and growing so that's Unknown London they're coming at number one I'll leave their website link in the description box below so you can check out their stuff as well as their Instagram link in the description box below so please make sure to go follow them and now moving on to number two so the second brand I want to talk about is called MKI or Miyuki Zoka that's how you pronounce it it's a Japanese word it's a brand which has got a store in England it's actually in Leeds I did a video on this in the best place shop in Leeds this is a brand which has gone crazy. They're a brand which aims to produce designer clothes at a cheap price point and as well as holding the good quality. And I actually believe they fully do. Some of their stuff is so, so clean and comes at a very different price point. They use a variety of different materials, very high quality, and they keep like a very minimal aesthetic. And what's also crazy is the owner, Vic Taylor, also did a little documentary with Hype Beast and it's featured on YouTube. I'll show you some B-roll right now. My name is Vic Tyler, I'm the founder and owner of the MKI store based here in Leeds UK. Well MKI started off as a multi-brand store but then we had an idea to release our own design which was a, a diamond quilted leather bomber jacket. The response was amazing to that one single product and we had so much fun doing it and before you knew it we kind of had a really cohesive collection and, and the MKI in-house label was then born. Me personally, it's one of the most minimal and clean stores I've ever been to. If you ever come down to Leeds, I definitely recommend go check it out. A few of their standout pieces, one that went massive all over social media is they made their MKI Mizuki Zoko Sherpas. It's just like the Supreme Sherpa, the quarter zip right here, and it says Mizuki Zoko in four different colorways. They've all restocked, and the website link will be in the description box below. They also have a variety of like clean tees. In store, they sell stuff like Dickies as well, as well as Comme de Garçon. They hit trends really well. They make a lot of accessories. They do literally everything from trousers, tops, hoodies, coats, etc. If you want to go check it out and the price points are really good then the website is in the description box below and also if you want to go check out that Instagram then I'll also be there as well but now moving on to number three so the third brand is a brand called Hood Lab they are a Manchester based clothing brand they're kind of similar to Unknown London with the streetwear aesthetic they're like trackies oversized t-shirts matching sets anoraks etc what really stood out in the past I mentioned them on my channel I had a piece on them I'll show you an Instagram right here they did like a, kind of like a rip off of a Rolex and basically put their obtained currency under it I think this t-shirt was so so clean they also made a hoodie as well as a short sleeve t-shirt of it they also did other stuff like BMW one and then from that they've elaborated on the 
grown even more and once again like Unknown London they actually got a collab with ASAP Thai it's called the Dirt Bike Collection which is pretty sick as well I'll show you a few photos but overall I think it's a really sick aesthetic a nice independent brand I'll leave their website link as well as their Instagram link in the comment section down below so please make sure to go check them out and now moving on to number four so the fourth brand I want to talk about this is something completely different to the previous three it's a brand called Pieces Unique it is a French Paris based brand set up by a 22 year old designer called Edmund Lou and their aim is to make like high quality unique pieces to make people feel unique it says it in the name but honestly this brand makes some crazy pieces they do like individual collections and once that's sold out they just delete it off the website and make the next collection. The stuff usually sells out, it's at a higher price point, I'd say stuff like above like 60 euros and above, but they kind of got like the Acne Studios vibe, minimal like say with the print on the neck right there. They've got some weird pieces, but obviously they're very high end fashion, kind of some of the stuff, some of their trousers are so sick that the fitting is unreal. I tried to cop a pair, but unfortunately they're sold out, so I've never been able to cop one. The new collection at the moment is just like an all white clean silhouette. And when they film their lookbooks, they go to some mad locations. I'll show you some B-roll right now. Classic Beats. But overall, I definitely recommend going check them out. The more of a brand that you'd see kind of like on Fashion Week, something that would be packed by the paparazzi, something that's very high-end, something that people would look at and be really different, but different can always be good. So I'd honestly recommend going check them out. I feel like they should be higher than they are right now. They have got some unbelievable pieces and the designs keep getting better and better. You can really tell that a lot of time and detail and quality goes into each individual piece. But there we go, it's pieces unique going number four. So next up going number five is a brand called Pleasures. They are LA-based streetwear brand. You probably heard of them these are probably the biggest out of the bunch I've mentioned right before they basically hit like the grunge rock kind of T aesthetic and they're probably most famous for is they made a t-shirt with the Kurt Cobain suicide note on their t-shirt it caused some controversy but it got their brand name out there and it became big they make a load of stuff at the moment they got a collab with a brand called Korn you might not know them they're a heavy metal brand they kind of hit the aesthetic of like band tees, kind of grungy look, t-shirts, more of an American vibe I'd say. Personally, them band tees aren't as big in the UK, but I still put with some of the stuff, I think it's really nice. Some of their screen prints are really nice, and they've also done a few like collabs, just like normal screen printing it on like champion hoodies as well, which is sick, that like, they're like kind of adapting with other brands. The whole aesthetic's really nice, and a lot of streetwear influencers and like celebrities are kind of wearing this brand. It's growing pretty fast, and now they're currently at over 100,000 followers on Instagram. It's getting bigger, and one of their most recent collabs as well is they got a collab with guest jeans basically they're at the farmers market if you haven't heard what the farmers market is it's basically an event it was designed by Sean Weatherspoon and Guess. Basically, if you don't know who Sean Weatherspoon is, he's the owner of Round 2. I've talked about them before, and he also was the one who created the Air Max 97s with the all over corduroy colourful print. But overall, that's number five. It is Pleasures. I'll leave the website link and that Instagram in the comment section down below as well. So please make sure to go check it out. So now moving on to number six. So coming to number six is another Manchester-based streetwear brand as well. It is a brand called Gram. Gram with two M's, it's kind of like Hood Lab as I mentioned previously, once again, the same with like the unknown aesthetic as well, track suits, matching track suits with the screen prints, different colours, scarves, socks, literally the list goes on, a variety of different stuff. The one piece at the moment that I love, it's a matching black track suit, which has like ground across the print there and a different screen print on the leg, it's so sick but it's sold out literally instantly. They've also made some accessories, very on trend, they made like the shoulder bags, they also made something which is pretty sick, they made their own shoelaces and they whacked on a new pair of Rathsim and Oswego's. Another bad thing with Gram is if you check out their website, they've got this wavy, like old school aesthetic with like the JPEG, kind of like an old Windows 90 computer. And then also definitely go check out their Tumblr, their mood board on there is crazy because so much inspiration and creativity. I look on it quite a lot. I mean, some of their stuff is so sick, some of the photo aesthetic, some of the animations. I'll show you a little bit of B roll right now, but some of the stuff is just so sick and so creative. The website link on the Instagram will be in the comment section down below, so please make sure to go check it out. But now moving on to number seven. So coming on to number seven is a brand called Olive Clothing. They they are a British lifestyle and contemporary brand. They kind of concentrate on the fit and the quality. No branding literally whatsoever, just plain like that cropped trousers, fitted trousers, 
t-shirts, short sleeve like rugby, stuff like that. The stuff is very, very minimal, very like, standout. You can tell the quality is on point. They also do women's clothes as well. A simple brand. The price point can be a bit higher, but you're paying for the quality and the fitting and the stitching. But overall, a really nice brand. I'll leave the website link in the comment section down below as well as their Instagram. So please make sure to go check it out. So now coming at number eight, we have a brand called Minus Two. This was set up by a guy called Terence Sambo, that's how you pronounce it. He was an editor at Port Online and a stylist as well. It's a UK based brand. They have a similar aesthetic as the ones against like Hood Lab and Unknown. Very streetwear style, tracksuits, t-shirts as well, which is screen prints on them as well. Loads of cool designs, socks, track pants, the list goes on. I recommend checking out their Instagram. They have some really sick photos. They've got some really cool models. They've got like matching twins to start the pieces. Very sick vibe. And Terence Sambo as well is such a sick stylist. I'd recommend going to check out his Instagram. I'll show you a little clip of it now. He has some unbelievable fits. But that is minus two, coming in number eight. I'll leave the website and that Instagram in the comment section down below. They're just a new startup brand. I think they started up this year and they're doing so well. Obviously from his influence in that like, Paul's magazine, he's getting them listed in a variety of magazines and I hope the growth of their brand is going to be really good as well. So now coming in number nine is a brand called Bankside Club. You probably would have heard them before. I've worked with them before on our Instagram photo right here. They're basically a very minimal, simple brand. They've been started out since 2015. They just do like graphic tees, short sleeves, long sleeves, as well as hoodies, a variety of different colours. They also do their own little designs as well. They did one kind of like the Patagonia scale on the basement, but what was sick about it, it was reflective, and also on the sleeves, it was reflective as well. They sent me out that t shirt. They have a variety of different colours. They're also unisex, it can be boys or girls, and they, and they keep bringing out new stuff throughout the year. They're going to carry on growing, and if you want to go a low key brand with good quality clothes at a very cheaper price point, then go check out Bankside Clothes. In. The website link will be in the description box below as well as that Instagram so please make sure to go check it out. So now moving on to the final one, it is brand number 10. So the final brand I want to talk about is once again a UK brand, it is called Set Store. They are once again kind of like Bankside, they do like screen prints and stuff but they also do embroidery as well, they do hats. They do shoulder bags, they do hoodies, t-shirts. What I also like, which is why I put them in, it is their jewellery. They do like signet rings, gold and silver, and they also do chains. I'm really into my jewellery, as you can see, I've got my rings. I haven't got a chain on today, but I love my jewellery. So I love how it's a different aesthetic, as well as clothing and jewellery. All their stuff, is, once again, comes at a relatively good price point. Not too high and not too low, but you're paying for the brand as well, and the quality is really good. But overall, I'd recommend going check them out as well. They keep bringing out new stuff as well. They also bring out sunglasses recently, but I'll leave their website and their Instagram in the description box below as well, so make sure to go check it out. Overall, I hope you lot enjoyed this video. It's something a little bit different, educates you on a few new brands you may have not heard of before. If there's anything I missed or something I should know about, then leave them in the comment section down below and I'll be sure to go check them out. If you enjoyed this video, then please make sure to hit that subscribe button. I post two men's fashion videos every single week, one midweek and one every single Sunday. If you enjoyed it and want to see more content, then please make sure to hit that thumbs up. It really goes a long way. Overall, be sure to go check out my Instagram, which is at Dom Hadley underscore, as well as checking out some of my older videos. And I'll catch you lot in the next one. Man. I love bisexual women. I do. Me, I buy cars, you just rent them. Niggas is snakes that got venom. Watch out. All these hundreds like I print them. Yeah.